With initial shortages and a rush to sanitize surfaces, people have been thinking outside the box when it comes to cleaning their home and their workspaces. Wipes and bleach flew off the shelves, leaving the internet to swirl with claims about other products capable of killing COVID-19. One such product, hydrogen peroxide. Many viewers have asked if it can be used as a disinfectant, so the night team's Courtney Friedman ran it through our KSAT Trust Index. You, our viewers, are wondering if it's okay to use hydrogen peroxide to disinfect your surfaces. Well, our experts have a multifaceted answer. Hydrogen peroxide is listed on the CDC's website. Dr. Ruth Berggren with UT Health San Antonio's Long School of Medicine says hydrogen peroxide can, in fact, kill COVID-19. But that doesn't mean it's the best thing to use. 3% hydroperoxide, which is what you can buy over the counter at the drugstore, is actually a higher concentration than what you generally see in the disinfectants. Uh, and the registered disinfectants are it's around 1.4%, which is about half of that. So the potential risk you run with using that 3% that you buy in the drugstore is it can be corrosive. It might bleach surfaces. It might actually cause some breakdown of surfaces. University Health System Hospital epidemiologist Dr. Jason Bowling says there are specific sprays you can buy that contain hydrogen peroxide in lower concentrations, and those are okay for your surfaces. Dr. Bergman also added the fact that these hydrogen peroxide bottles a lot of us keep under our cabinets for a while can actually expire. I looked at mine for my house. The expiration date is in 2017. Whoops, that's one reason she says you could use alcohol or bleach. I just bought a gallon of bleach for my household last weekend. Um, and what you wanna do is to put five tablespoons of bleach in a gallon of water, or you can do four teaspoons in a quart. So when it comes to using hydrogen peroxide as a COVID-19 disinfectant, our KSAT Trust Index says be careful. It can work, but might ruin your stuff. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Now, if you have a claim, picture, or video you'd like us to check out, you can submit it to us at ksat.com slash trustindex.